What is your opinion on the trans slash homo fascists that have been popping up recently or any marginalized group supporting fascism or third position ideology? Woo! Thanks for an easy one. <laughs> I had actually not oh, heard about this because I'm not a good interneter. No, 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 look, it's, it's basically, it's, it's extremely complicated. And I think I will caveat this to shit that like, I am not gonna engage pretty much at all in terms of like, issues surrounding, uh, sorry, yeah, trans issues and or race issues because literally like, not my conversation to be had. However, there is plenty of internalized misogyny as is. So we can totally cover that. So I guess uh, the question is relating to, I don't know, some would say recent phenomena, but I think it maybe has been made like a bit uh, more popular just by the internet or whatnot. Um, um, that there have been quite a few um, influencer types, of, I don't know, individuals that are putting themselves out there as such that would stereotypically be seen as coming from somewhat marginalized communities and yet they are flirting with the politics of alt-right all the time. So, you know, I mean, I don't even want to do kind of examples, but like Milo. Yeah, fuck it, Milo. Yeah. I mean, that, 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 that is, a, that is a, a, you know, a gay dude that is married to a black uh, dude and like still is like fascist to fuck, right? So, and he's not the only one. There are plenty. Um, yeah, I just, I kind of don't want to necessarily use examples like that because I don't want to necessarily class them as like, certain things or like whether they're suffering from the same issues or are there issues i guess that's for us to be discussed as such i so, don't really know enough about fascists well, you should listen to 12 rules for what i should listen to 12 rules for what <laughs> actually so yeah that's an awesome podcast i do listen to 12 rules for what i might add yes and, do you? Uh, <laughs> i actually wonder they i wonder if they would dare to cover this by the way, can I nick a cigarette? Yeah, sorry, of course. Sorry, sorry, thank you. It'd be good if um, they did, actually, because I yes. don't, don't know enough about it. So, okay, so I have been thinking about this a lot. And as I say, I will kind of like refer to it more um, from like a sort of internalized misogyny sort of perspective. So when we look at uh, some women, for instance, actually, some, who was it? I think someone was saying, someone tweeted it out. I don't know how much we agree with it or not. It's that like, tabs are the sort of modern well not modern i don't know it's like the the equivalent of the alt-right and the feminist milieu well there's been a lot of talk it. on twitter and stuff lately about how they're like apparently funded by alt-right groups or something no. yeah i've been hearing this yeah i don't know how I mean, it's true of like all turfs but yeah, some yeah. like roots have definitely got strong links with the alt-right movement particularly in the u.s again all, let us know if it's like fake news or whatnot we don't want to like mm. spread false propaganda i got a nod i got a nod so i think it's true <laughs> i got several nods and a thumbs up yes can I raise a cheer? <laughs> I'm kidding, don't cheer for turps. No, 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 no. <laughs> what have we done? No, no, but basically, so I guess, yeah, someone was saying like that is like the, the, the new sort of uh, older and such. Wait, uh, I want to also read out a little thing that um, I wrote down about this. That was really just a bit of, um, so when we talk about internalized misogyny and someone wrote it really, really well. well um, Misogyny functions as an ideology or belief system that has accompanied patri patriarchal or male-dominated societies for thousands of years and continues to place women in subordinate positions and with limited access to power and decision-making. Aristotle... Uh, Aristotle? No, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. The original feminist. <laughs> no, no, that's the thing. Aristotle <laughs> condemned that women exist as natural deformities or imperfect males, and since then... This is what we have, right? Mm. This is why we have like that sort of, um, and as I say, like you, I know you were mentioning more like, um, you know, internalized homophobia or internalized transphobia, but like, I'm just not gonna go there. So I'm talk gonna talk more about like our own perspectives. So I think since then we are still fighting that thing that we're like not good enough. And I personally come from like an Eastern European background where like still to this day, I think probably my relatives are a bit sad that I wasn't a boy. Like it's, it's like a whole thing, but, um, Basically, and I think the reason why perhaps people do do it like that, and I kind of get it because I'm sort of trying to like sell out and like right now currently myself, I'm poor, I want to like have more money. Um, not sell out, cash in, it's a different thing. But um, I guess, <laughs> Adam said it is, so I'm like- Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're not throwing it, it out, you're bringing it in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, 
so that it basically it, it it you are just attempting to be closer to power and in historically power has been with like white straight men but what they don't do what i find interesting about like for example if we're talking about like female fascists say is that they don't they don't try and be more like men they try to go into a role of womanness that pleases men right in order like so but basically yeah okay i, I say basically like a proud girl. i'm so sorry i'm actually this is a different drunkness that this keys with me by the way it's been fascinating okay, anyway so sorry this is tangent it's just what we do we talk about it's a living room conversation you guys shouldn't even be here but you are fine yeah if you want a straight answer uh, <laughs> straight <laughs> straight <laughs> no, no no my point was that um a lot of the networks that we're talking about like where where these sort of, I guess, outliers from the stereotypical mo woke movement are, uh, are funded by big money and have like very much, I don't know, cis white dudes around them that are like massively championing if they have that mm -hmm, token mm -hmm. person around them and they Absolutely. will. And they will like do everything to like, keep them, and 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 so like. I mean, it even helps Tommy Robinson so is much. like, I've got Muslim friends, like. Yeah, yeah, but basically, like, especially in the U.S. and like, I think it's more of a U.S. Uh, mm. phenomenon than it is here. Uh, the amount, like, basically, the amount of money that goes into those networks, um, and, and 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 so, these individuals like receive huge. Uh, payouts basically so i think it's a it is oh, also a material, Where it's are a material all the thing fucking anarcho so, benefactors oh man not a thing well because you know we, we we don't reproduce capitalism so it won't be a thing could we just for a bit <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, um yeah so i think basically there's a lot of power there there's a lot of money that if you are an outlier you found your thing basically yeah imagine you you could be like everyone else but then you found your thing and it's bringing you material supports I can kind of see it, especially if you are really from an insecure background. I mean, again, like I bring in the. So you would just say that, like, for them, being rich and being liked is more important than being female. Oh, in terms of like their things that they're prioritizing, like gender solidarity is lower than like. And we're talking about influencers, as such. Yeah. Not to say that there aren't plenty of people like in real world. I don't know. Like we we meet. I don't know. You meet those women all the time. It's just it's just like no women shouldn't be a president, right? There are plenty of women that think that, or like women shouldn't go into high office, or women shouldn't be CEOs. You know, that happens all the time. Definitely, where I come from, like in, back in Eastern Europe, it's just like, yeah, it's this whole thing. Like it's 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 a man's world as it as it should be. But it's also, I think, to, to bring in this this quote, you know, that that I just read out. It's just like we've been subjected to this for thousands of years. So it's it's and it only recently, like really within our lifetime, have been trying. We've been trying to like challenge this. But um, you get it in well, gross ways, right? You get it through like lean in feminism as well, where it's like, be the chairwoman instead of the chairman. And like, you know, which I wouldn't call like fascist, but like the like pro capitalist versions of feminism and other things and like LGBTQ and particularly gay men. There's a lot of like visibility through corporate means that is championed, which is critiquable by us, I think. But also like I was just actually just on my way here, I was listening to a podcast. Um, I want to, oh man, I feel really bad that I forgot their name to actually plug them. But they, not Labor Day, no way. Not, maybe working class history? Maybe not, but um. They were doing an LGBTQ special for the last few days. So, possibly. Might have so basically it was about the minor strike and um, and I think it's LGSM, so lesbians and gays for supporting minors. Supporting minors? Support yeah. the minors. Support the minors. Um, and um, so this was an incredible, ma incredible, uh, I guess marriage in the two movements with the burgeoning marriage of, of the, the burgeoning movement of, 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 of growth of, of LGBTQ uh, rights in the in the 80s as well as the the, the, the huge minor strikes and uh, there was a, an organization that was found uh, around that and um, one of the people was talking about it and he was like look I was a I was a minor kid I, like a, a kid that was going to be a minor I was a minor I knew I was gay internally but I hated everything about that I internalized so much of my like oh, so much homophobia I hated myself I went to GP to cure myself you know basically and then only eventually he like they found comrades that were empathetic enough and then they you know they version to be who they are right now a rad babe and all of that stuff but like what if you are not lucky enough to have found yeah. these people what if you do go through incredible periods of of, of 
yeah, of trauma and rejection. And honestly, and then you find out these like right wing people that go like, yeah, babes, we're gonna be your like, we're gonna be your family. Yeah, you can be on the poster. We're gonna give you money. You can be on a poster. Just do what you're doing, but kind of hate the liberals a bit. Yeah. That's really it's attractive. It's pretty appealing. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if that answers the question. I need the toilet. Okay. Can fine. we have a break? Mm -hmm. Okay. Five minute break. I'll let you go to the toilet. Finish. Right. No. So okay. So I hope that answers your question. I know it's a complicated one because it's like, yeah. Again, if we could have like this is a million dollar question, right? Like if we could answer, they're doing this because of this, and if we only had a counter to that, then yeah, world revolution so easy. No. Like it, it, uh, people's traumas, people's material needs, necessities thousands of years patriarchy it fucks with us and i do think as people on the left we need to like really seriously interrogate the reasons why women why people of color why like uh, trans and lgbtq people join the alt-right and also not not put it down to one thing or another thing or another thing because there are um, probably a lot of complicated personal reasons to do with yeah financial reasons but also maybe like, ideology and maybe also self-denial community. Self community we suck at, at like creating community as the left we're cold we're a lot of the time emotionally uh unavailable it's really very very difficult yeah. to, for us to i don't know not difficult but basically we have really fucked it in terms of being inviting a lot of the time yeah because we are elitist a lot of the time so and our like desire to keep every place safe and like not up upset people rightly leads to a lot of people feeling scared of speaking which is also why we're doing this channel as well yeah, like yeah. so we do on the left need to work out for ourselves why marginalized groups are becoming fascist and what we can do to yeah that's that. a failure as yeah. well i mean i also a bit i were sorry just the last thing and i know you're it's gonna okay I'm, I'm gonna but be fine i have my whole thing so I work in like well I, I I try to cover the gaming industry from like an I don't know a radical Watch left, left up. Oh, Thank you. I have to go back to it as well. But um, and I call out women all the time, way way more than I call out men mm. a lot of the time because of like our the, yeah the sort of corporate feminism that we create, the lack of uh, attention towards the women in the global south in terms of the creation of our hardware. I do this all the time on Twitter a lot, and I think people kind of see me as like. Oh, so you're with the dudes, right? But because you call out women all the time. But my argument is like, no, because we've been oppressed way, way more, we should know better. We should fucking know but better. But I do think it is a problem that we hold women to higher standards than we hold men and marginalized groups in general. We hold to a higher standard of like wokeness than we do like, oh, you know, the cis white straight man, he, he doesn't know any better. It's like, we should stop patronizing them and bring them the fuck up while simultaneously calling out women on their like hypocritical bullshit. I think this is also a me issue. I've actually kind of admitted this a little bit and maybe this is problematic, but fuck it, it is what it is. I respect right wing people truly a bit more than I respect centrists. Like I respect oh, yeah. stories that are more than I respect Lib Dems and like independent group. At least they have an opinion. Stuff. Honestly, like so there's something <coughs> to be said about like yeah, people that have just like, that's it, they're far gone, but like at least there's like an ideology behind that. Rather than like kind of people that are kind of like, yeah, but we're trying to, but we're not really. And, and they're only keep politics out the of it thing. though. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. everyone should get along. Yeah, yeah, or just like, we're already so progressive as is. Mm. So that's why, that's what, that's my thing with women as like, we should know better and we should not stay, stay on fences because historically we have been oppressed. And, and so yeah, it's kind of a bit of a, I think, but I do feel that perhaps that makes it look like, oh yeah, I'm like, produce but I'm not like I will fight right wing until my last breath but it's just but centrist something about like that sort of like I just feel betrayed you know. by women I don't feel betrayed yeah, by like like cis white straight dudes I'm like well they're just doing that asshole thing and if a woman does it I'm like oh but but yeah. you could have been with me yeah 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 and I think but that, that is that's a, a, but it is a I do think we need to not high hold marginalized people to a higher standard I, I, I can only everyone talk about I can only talk about women because that's just yeah. like cis women or whatnot. But like I do and I will because like it's not that fucking hard to like be supportive of like sisters that have like gone through the same shit. Yeah, no, I mean yeah. and are still going through the same shit. And the reason why you have a platform that you do is because people have even fought for you to even have this platform. Yeah, I mean I agree. And like the people on the right to you are gonna fuck you the first well, not in that way, like the first moment they get. 